Hi, my name is Marcos, and these are my partners. Jessica Lee. Angel Garcia. And Luis Jimenez. For this project, we were asked to do some research on a global health issue that children face and create a solution that could help them and aid them in bettering their lives. We decided to choose natural disasters and we specifically we chose um, Japan's earthquake and how it affected the children. To have a further understanding of how the earthquake happened and how it affected the people, we decided to educate you a little on how earthquakes happen. So, earthquakes happen because of tectonic plates. And tectonic plates are like the puzzle pieces of the Earth's lithosphere, which is the crust. Right now, there are eight major plates in the world right now. As you can see, right now, Japan is in the middle of four major plates. And because of Japan's location, that means that with any slight movement of those tectonic plates, Japan is going to be primarily affected. There are three main types of plate movements. This is divergent. As you can see, the two plates move apart from each other. As they do, um, lava goes up, and as it goes up, it creates more land, as you can see down here. It creates a great valley. Um, this is the convergent movement. What? Oh. Um, where two tectonic plates um, collide together, either one goes up on top of each other, the other one goes down, and or there's another one where they go together and form a mountain. The other type of tectonic plate movement is a transformation, and it's when two plates rub against each other, creating an earthquake. How do we measure them? Well, we measure earthquakes by using a seismograph that measures the magnitude of the earthquake and the energy release. Um, does the seismograph um, Charles F. Richter, Richter created it and okay. <laughs> um, he, he went to University of California. Um, oh, and as this little graph is a machine where it tells when an earthquake is about to happen, which you can all you can see is little lines or little squiggles. Right here, it's the district. Right here, this chart shows the distribution of earthquakes with a magnitude less than five on the Richter scale. Over there in Japan, it's completely covered in dots, which means that they have a lot of earthquake activity. This chart is also like about earthquake activity, but it shows the distribution of earthquakes, which are have a power more than seven on the Richter scale, and of course, Japan is still primarily covered with dots. Japan. Um, oh, uh, what happened in, during that time? Oh, it was Friday, March 11, 2011, at 5.46. Uh, this earthquake was a magnitude of 8.9. Uh, many unstable buildings were destroyed. Many people were killed. Uh, many kids were left orphaned. After the earthquake hit, um, it caused a tsunami to release and killing more civilians. affects children in many ways. They lose, often lose their families and are left alone. And it 
makes it very difficult to live and it increases the risk of dying, catching disease, and suffering from mental illnesses. And there's clearly no defined endpoint to an earthquake and its disruptions. And it can cause and increase psychological distress. There is a picture of the Japanese praying for their loss of the yeah the loss of their child that happened with the earthquake. Just another picture. And that's right. Um, this chart right here is a scatter plot where it gets the data from. 1990 to the to 2010, the yellow triangles are earthquakes that happen with a magnitude of 6.0 to 6.9 on the Richter scale. The purple ones are a 7.0 to a 7.9, and the blue ones are at 8.0 to a 9.9. The reason why there are equations on the left, right side, is because using that equation something that scientists and geologists can use to predict future earthquakes and how many might happen, might may occur. Okay, so our solution was to build a shelter slash storage building which was which will be structured more better for it not to collapse as fast. We use modern technology that scientists and engineers created. Um, there, it was more efficient to absorb shock, the shock of the earthquake. And what the storage is building holds is for food supplies and that don't expire easily. Um, I'll done jobs to clean water by heating the water and filtering it. And this is a picture of the iodine into water. And this is a, an example of a building in Japan. That is created to absorb the shock of an earthquake. So how you can help to support Japan is by donating $3 for a bracelet and a dollar or a ribbon with a red button on it to show your support for Japan. Here is an advertisement that people have used for the black ribbon with the purple, I mean with the red. <laughs> red button on them. And here's another example. Okay, fine, yes. No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 
Yeah, sure. Oh. It was fun. That's 